Hello boys and girls, have you been enjoying the lovely sunshine? When I go walking, I take a map, but sometimes I need to zoom in closer so that I can see the details. Today we are going to zoom in and take a closer look at Luke 24 verse 36 to 49 in our Bible. We're going to ask some questions. How can I really be sure that Jesus is alive? And what is the evidence that Jesus really did rise from the dead? There are four things for you to look out for in our Bible story today. Number one, who did the disciples see? Number two, whose hands and feet did the disciples touch? Number three, who did the disciples see eat fish? And number four, who explained the scriptures to the disciples? Hello everybody, welcome back to another week. I hope you've had a lovely week back at school and nursery. Today we're going to have a story called Jesus Meets His Friends, taken from our Big Bible Storybook. Jesus' friends were talking. They thought Jesus had died, but now they had heard he was alive again. And suddenly he appeared. Hello, Jesus said. His friends were a bit frightened. It's a ghost, they yelled. No, it's really me, Jesus told them. Look at my hands and my feet. Touch them. You couldn't do that if I was a ghost. The friends were amazed. Jesus, it is you, they shouted. They were so pleased to know that Jesus was alive again. I'm hungry, said Jesus. Have you any food I could eat, please? So his friends cooked some fish and watched as Jesus ate it. Jesus must be real, they said to each other. He can eat food. Listen carefully, said Jesus. There is something I want you to do. I want you to tell everyone what has happened. I want everyone in the whole world to know that I am alive. His friends did exactly what Jesus told them. And that's why we know that Jesus is alive today. Well, did you find any evidence in our story? One, Jesus was seen by the disciples. Two, his disciples touched his hands and feet. Three, the disciples saw Jesus eat fish. And four, Jesus helped them understand the scriptures because he knew things that only Jesus could. The disciples believed that Jesus was telling them the truth, so they trusted him. He said, go and tell. So they went and told people everywhere that Jesus is alive. Shine from the inside out, but the world. 
you live in me Know you love me, feel me, send me Know you love me, feel me, send me for you to make. You need a sheet of A4 card, some colouring pencils, some glue and some scissors. On your card measure four centimetres on the bottom line and draw a straight line from that mark, the four centimetre mark, up to the corner. Then measure it another centimetre on each side and then you can draw another straight line. Do the same on the opposite side and then you're going to cut the outside lines but leave the overlap lines so you've cut the shape. When you've done that you can decorate your piece of card with things about Jesus like I've got tell the world Jesus is risen God's son he's alive saviour and then I've put lots of little um, stars and happy faces and marks as, um, along the edge as well and if you've got any stickers you could use those couldn't you decorate any way you like and it doesn't matter what card, color the card is it's any anything you like okay then when you've done that you've got you've got your two overlapping lines and you can glue it so it joins together and then you've made a loudspeaker and you can go and tell people about Jesus and when you've, when you've made your loudspeaker, go and tell a friend or someone in your family something you know about Jesus. Great. 
we're going to pray now. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you that you are alive today. We thank you for the early Christians who told everyone about you. Thank you for their faith. Thank you that they loved you. And thank you because of that, we can know about you today. Help us to learn and want to know more about you and your love for us. Amen. Thank you for being with us today. It's been great to be with you. We look forward to seeing you all again next week. Bye.